John Zimmerman with Upper Creek Angler and we're continuing our work through Steve Scoose's book Grayling Flies. This is fly number two from the book Kite Imperial and um, I've got a number 12 hook in the vise. The book calls for um, this fly from 14 down but just for ease of viewing I do have a number 12 in the vise. It's a Daiichi number 1180 but any standard dry fly hook should work for you. And the uh, Bob and I have some purple thread and we'll just get started tying this fly. The tailing material on this is going to be some light brown hackle fibers tied in um, a little longer according to the picture than um, I normally tie dry fly ha uh, tails but a little bit longer than the shank of the hook but um, suit your fancy on that and we'll wrap these down and clip out any of the waste here at the top I always tie all of my um, waste materials forward to the top of the hook simply because I don't want to create any nasty bumps at the back of the fly when um, you have a portion of material tied in it one place but nowhere else. The ribbing on this is going to be some fine gold wire. And the body on this is going to be a um, substitute for hair and hurl. So I've got some dyed goose hurl here. We'll tie this in at the back and wrap it forward. Making sure to leave plenty of room at the top of the fly to um, make your head and tie in your hackle. Okay, um, at this point we're going to rib this with the fine gold wire and yes that has a tendency to get in the way just a little bit. But we're going to use it for another purpose in just a moment. Once we've captured the gold wire, we'll just helicopter that out. And then take our thread back down the body just a little bit to fold the, the hurl over and come right back up to the top just to create a small abdomen. And at this point we will tie in our primary hackle. I've got a brown dry fly saddle hackle here. And make several passes with this forward toward the eye and reach in and cross the stem with the thread. Pull all of these back to form a neat head and clip the stem out. We'll finish this guy off with a multi turn whip finish and then this fly will be complete. Again, this is fly number two from Steve Scoose's book, Kites Imperial. Happy time.